Hello and welcome to our very special show. I'm Gargi Rao. This is about a very special campaign. Now, while many have been hit hard by the extended lockdown in the country, considered one of the strictest in the world, many of the animals who share city space with us have also been badly affected. Many stray animals like dogs, cats and cows who were fed and cared for regularly or who had access to food earlier have been left starving. Uh, many pets have also sadly been abandoned during the coronavirus scare due to unfounded fears that pets can spread the virus. Well, to talk about all these issues, uh, we, have, we are joined by Anil Reddy, co-founder Donate Card, that has started this special initiative called Stray Voice to help street animals. Ganesh Nayak, founder Animals Matter to Me, a philanthropist and dog lover. And we'll also be joined by a renowned singer, Mohit Chauhan, someone who has actually been uh, feeding stray animals daily during this this lockdown. But first, I'd like to start with BJP leader and animal lover Menika Gandhi, who we spoke to earlier. What has the impact of the lockdown been on our stray population, especially in our cities? On one hand, I'm extremely proud that the animal welfare movement has come into its own during the lockdown. People in the thousands have come out all over, in cities, in villages, in towns, to feed animals. People have become very proactive about people who are mean to animals. In fact, the police were saying that one-fourth of all complaints they're getting is from people who are complaining about other people who are mean to animals. In, uh, for instance, in Udaipur, the municipality took away 16 dogs because one old man complained. They brought back all 16 because everybody got together and complained. So on, on one hand, I'm really, really proud that mm, India's people, especially young people, have come forward to feed animals. Two, when we, we come to stray animals, they have been fed, a lot of them, but a lot have died, a lot have died, especially in two areas. One is industrial areas where the industry has closed down and there's nobody to feed them because nobody's going there. And the second is, is in administrative areas, for instance, Shastri Bhavan, Tolstoy Mark, where all the buildings are. Stray dogs Australian animals have not had a good time. Um, they have had to change places where they live because their food has dried up in one area. They have become very insecure. So there's a lot more barking uh, going on at night, especially because they're so frightened. They don't know what to do. They are being fed. I would say 50% have been fed. And uh, I would say about 10%, which is a lot, a lot. It runs into thousands and thousands have died. So all in all, the animal welfare movement has been really strong and successful. And I thank the Prime Minister for having made that statement about feeding street animals. We changed the entire mahal, just one statement of his. And I'd like to thank the district administrations for all, most of them, in fact all of them, for being sensitive. All right, Anil, uh, I'd like to now come to you and ask you about this campaign, Stray Voice. If you tell us, you know, how did it come about and uh, what is the, uh, the thought behind it? Yeah, so thanks a lot, Gargi, for having me on the show. I, I would like to first thank NDTV and the whole team behind this initiative because this wouldn't have been possible without your support. Um, frankly, I'll tell you why the whole initiative is really important at this point of time. Um, so the lockdown, it's been 55 days since um, we are in the lockdown and we humans are at least know that when we'll be out on the streets. But these three animals are just waiting for us to return or the restaurants to open so that they can defend properly. So I represent Donate Cart and we work with over 60 plus charities who are working in this animal welfare sector, feeding over 2 to 3 lakh dogs every day. So what is happening? Now, it's been 55 days, right? If you can see it, all these NGOs are already exhausted with their own funds. An NGO has a limited network of donors, right, at the end of the day. So, they're already exhausted of the funds. Now, they are really looking out for support. And Donate Card is always there whenever any disaster comes in, uh, be it any flood or any other disaster. Now, more than ever, uh, people are using us to donate because at the end of the day, what we provide to donors is a transparent model to donate. On our website, donors who want to contribute, they'll make, they'll choose what items they want to donate to a charity and then they'll pay for it. They'll also know what has exactly is happening to their money. 
in this particular initiative of three voice we are partnering with over 40 to 50 ngos across the country um all the major cities bangalore delhi hyderabad mumbai all the major cities they are supporting all kinds of stray animals be it dogs cats cows everyone on the street who are in need of support what we are asking people to give is a kit which is costing 650 rupees which can feed so many stray animals um and this is a complete transparent model that we have got in where people can directly give dog food it can be pedigree or rice um coming back to why it is very much needed now again i genuinely feel now that the lockdown has extended and the ngos are exhausted with the fund it's really the time for people people like us to come forward and contribute Right, those who, who want to help but don't know exactly how and I think it's very helpful on your site the way you have these kits that people, so people can actually know what it is that they're you know, giving money for. It's not just giving money uh, blindly, you know that you're donating for kits. Uh, Ganesh, I'd like to come to you now and you know, during this lockdown we've actually seen that some cities and their administrations have issued passes to those who have been feeding dogs and, and you know, they've been considered as a people providing an essential service. So that's been very interesting to see. If you could tell us what has it been like in Mumbai? Uh, Mumbai seems to be warming up with the idea of supporting animals on a very large scale. As Anil said, a lot of people are trying to support animals. But then again, if you look at it, these feeder passes, uh, Mumbai Police, BMC, Bomb uh, Brihan Mumbai Corporation is cooperating so well with us. I mean, I have never seen this kind of unity coming. With coronavirus comes humanity is what is in place right now. Because I see we have been doing this for last 55 days and we have crossed more than, say, around... 50,000 animals and say it is a donor, whether it is a, a police official, getting these feeder passes was not difficult, cops are not difficult, uh, so is the authority not. Everybody is humane and they all are now coming together to fight corona in a way where I am so overwhelmed with the response as as uh, Sri Menika ji also said that uh, people are gearing up to support. Yes, it is true because we can speak about our difficulties but the ones we are trying to help cannot speak for themselves. and. Uh, Feeding is a ritual which is continuing for the last 55 days and at the same time we are also picking up critical cases. Now there are no humans on the streets of Mumbai. You can, uh, one cannot understand how an animal is injured or what kind of a state he is in or she is in and we are picking up all such animals. So in this horrid time wherein, where everybody is panicking, what I see the best part is humanity coming across from all directions whether it is a corporate background or is it an individual or is it a municipal corporation or is it police or even I have come to an extent to get support from people like uh, they have seen us feeding the animals and they have just come and said hey, why don't you just pick up some stuff from our place we have excess so this is something which is uh, uh, I right. can say I mean, making the difference right Right. Now. And, and Ganesh, I know you and your wife uh, do run a shelter, but uh, unfortunately in Mumbai, we also saw a lot of abandonment of pets initially after, you know, when, when the, the whole coronavirus uh, fear was spreading it, and there was, the, there was this unfounded sort of information regarding the spreading of the virus from, a, from animals. So that was something very uh, sad to see. That exactly went very nasty with all the animals because in the beginning there were some mistakes happening from the authorities where they just put up some hoarding saying that, you know, uh, coronavirus can be uh, coming in from cats, dogs and all. But over a period of time, immediately it was pulled down. There were many celebs, there were many authorities who understood that it was a wrong information given to the public. And in the panic, more than 27 or 28 animals have come to my shelter itself. Imagine how many in Mumbai are dumped. I would not know much about it. Many pet shops, in fact, they never opened the shutters and many animals have died within the shutters of the pet shops and all, which was cruelty and also no humanity. But there were reports, there were people warming up calling up and saying so and so shops are there why don't you just go open up and release these animals so yes there was a misinformation but then we all have come together again i would say uh, this has become like a revolution and donate card i have been there for almost two to three calamities till now one was the flooding one the last one where i raised enormous amount of uh, medicines for kerala flooding and this time also i have done so much with the help of donate card that this platform has made our way of communicating to the right. masses as well as the philanthropists in a very better way. Right. In fact, Donate Cart it does raise money uh, you know, for the migrants, for a lot of the poor. It's not just uh, for the strays, but this is also a very important part. And uh, Mohit Chauhan, you are somebody who's been feeding uh, the, uh, you know, stray dogs every day of this lockdown. Tell us, what has it been like and have you faced any challenges? Uh, Namaskar. <clears throat> you know, thank you so much for having me on your show. 
and uh, I really want to thank you for uh, taking up this program for the voiceless, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, me and my family, my wife, her sisters, her mother, uh, we've always been, you know, uh, caregivers, like they say, and we've been taking care of animals uh, around our house, uh, but I think this lockdown, you know, has made the situation very heart-wrenching, you know, and we had to extend our uh, area of operation, you know, and we don't have any NGO or anything, you know, we just like uh, a family, you know, trying to do our best. So, uh, I'm in Delhi, uh, close to my house, you know, there's this big Jahapana forest uh, where we've been going every morning now for the past uh, 53 days now and uh, feeding about 80 to 100 uh, animals, which includes uh, dogs, cats, uh, small puppies, uh, there are birds, there are uh, peacocks over there, there's knee guy. And the problem is that, you know, it's a huge place and it's really hot weather now. But it's very difficult to find uh, water, uh, you know, for, for the animals. You know, I, I think they really struggle to find water. So that's one thing that I wanted to bring to the notice of the administration uh, through your program, you know. And I'm really thankful to Minka Ji. Uh, she's been a great, great inspiration, you know, to us. And uh, it's, it's really amazing you know, the kind of support that she's been giving. I'm also thankful to PM Saab, you know, he tweeted about this thing. So I think uh, on our own, you know, we're trying to do a whole lot of stuff. And uh, Mohit, also I'd also like to ask you, I know you, you know, and it's lovely how it's been a whole family effort uh, on your part of, of going to Jhapna Forest and feeding these animals. We've talked about how uh, there's no water availability there for them. But at this time, we're also facing a massive, uh, you know, uh, crisis when it comes to migrants, to the poor. And there are people who would say that, you know, why not help? other people, other citizens, and why, uh, you know, at this time focus on the issue of stray dogs? What is your answer to them? See, my answer would be, as far as compassion is there, as far as kindness is there, uh, you do your best, you know, we, we want to help, everybody wants to help our fellow human beings, you know, who are walking on the road, who are struggling, the people, you know, who, who earn every day, and their earnings have stopped for the past, like, two, three months now. So I think it's, it's important that we help humans, but it's also important that we help the animals, you know, because we share our world with these beautiful creatures, you know, they can't go out and earn, you know, they can't strum their guitar, they can't work in the office, you know, they're just dependent on us. And we as humans have the responsibility of taking care of humans as well as the animals, because we share our world with these animals and we have to share our resources, you know. So I think the compassion and kindness is not limited to animal kingdom, you know, it's, we have to take care of everything. You know. We have right. to take care of our neighbors, of our families, of our society and as a whole. And I think it's really important as far as, uh, you know, animal feeding goes, it's part of our culture, you know, when we were growing up, whenever there was dinner or lunch cooked at home, uh, the first chapati that you break is for the guy, you know, and then you break another one and keep it for the dog, house dog, illegally, and then people eat their uh, meals, you know, who are purana culture, you know, that's the tradition. Yeah. I think we just need to fall back on the culture. And, but I also want, wanted to, you know, urge, you know, like Menkaji is here, I also wanted to urge that, you know, some stringent laws should be put in uh, for animal cruelty. You know, I think it's really important for people to learn that this is not the right thing to do. All right. And they are here, we share the world with them, might as well make it beautiful for us, for them and everyone. All right, an important point there, uh, uh, Mohit, regarding that, you know, it, one does not preclude the other in the sense you can also help our, you know, our fellow citizens, but we can at the same time spare a thought uh, for the stray animals that we share our, our space with, our towns with. We'll slip into a short break now and be back with more. Welcome back to our special show. We're looking at the impact the lockdown has had on stray animals and asking you to help in any way. Earlier we spoke to BJP leader Menika Gandhi and asked that the issue of feeding stray dogs is also something that's very controversial. There are many who are not in favor of it and India also has the highest case of, uh, cases of rabies. So what did she have to say on this issue? No animal breeds beyond the capacity of the ability of nature and in that nature they include humans to feed it. 
there is a no animal that is going to be breeding out of control they will breed exactly the same amount or less depending on whether they believe that food is available or not in this case this chatka that has come has come it should have if it had come in february we would have had no breeding seriously but it came just after the breeding season so you did see a lot of puppies in march by the end of march however the mortality rates of puppies this year has been much much higher than it has ever been because the mothers themselves are nervous they don't have enough to eat a lot of people who have been feeding have just simply been feeding glucose biscuits which uh, you know are not good for animals at all they give you instant energy because sugar does but basically it destroys the kidneys and liver all right well uh, anil i'd like to ask you that question as well uh, you know how it, it's uh, often uh, th this issue of feeding stray animals and dogs especially becomes controversial in many of the colonies what would you uh, answer to this and do we need a more scientific way to manage our stray population yeah so i would say if you look at currently how ngos operate right most of the time their work was mostly to uh, look after animals which are injured which come to their facility feeding is something which stray dogs do on their own so frankly ngos do need to support but dogs can earn on their own but due to lockdown the issue has to be taken care from ngos from all the people i would request all the societies who are doing it right i mean you can always keep the food outside of your door and then the dog is sensible enough to come and pick it up from your place even society so i mean any society who is stopping others to feed the only thing that i can appeal them is at the end of the day we have to stay with these animals after the lockdown also and these animals were there without your support now the lockdown is something that we have gotten for our health there is not for their health so we have to come out and then support them is this right that's what i would appeal right. all the people all right mohit have you ever faced any of these problems when when you go out and feed do you ever face any sort of resistance or people being critical of that well there uh, have been times you know when i have uh, uh, not personally but i've heard that people you know people sort of object to people feeding uh, animals but i think it's really important because you know uh, like we are humans you know and we are living in this world sharing it with these people these animals and i think it's our duty to help them you know and i think one way that this problem can be taken care of is by you know creating that mahal you know of making people understand that it's beautiful to you don't have to bring them into your house they don't give you the infection so don't abandon your pets but outside your house you can just leave a uh, leave some water behind the house maybe leave some food because it's not only dogs uh, you know there'll be cats there'll be cows there'll, there'll be birds you know and this hot season is now coming on so i think just by putting some water and food behind your house uh, is going to you know help a lot of these uh, uh, life forms that are living around right. us uh, all so right and really ganesh one for all of us to come together right ganesh and also a uh, last message to you to our viewers we're running out of time but a last message from you i would say uh, be compassionate a nation is judged by how you treat your animals uh, be kind uh, there is no harm there is no corona virus being infected or being uh, a reason for coming into humans from animals uh, be little bit more uh, sensible and compassionate as the way you are towards your family mother earth doesn't discriminate so please do not discriminate love one each one and uh, everyone is what i would love to say because at the end of the day you, you have snatched away their habitats you have built your palaces you have built your construction homes whatever you have done is their habitat which you have snatched them and now when they need you you need to be their voice they cannot communicate so help the silent right. ones and be joyous in life all right well uh, thank you all for joining us and you know sharing your stories and of course the effort that we're making uh, for, uh, to ensure that uh, the stray animals are fed in our city so uh, before we go a message to all of you who are watching we're urging you to help our fellow citizens of course in this difficult time but also the voiceless animals who are also suffering during the lockdown well that's all that we have time for thanks so much for watching goodbye